guys, the new jailbreak for the 4.1 firmware for the iPod Touch second generation is out now. And it is super fast, super easy, and it's really amazing. And it works for both MC and non-MC models. So everyone's in luck, and all the generations of iPods are jailbreakable for the 4.1 firmware. And it's really awesome. And so here, let's go ahead and get to it. Now, in my previous uh, videos I made about Green Poison and Limerain, they previously didn't jail jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation. They only jailbroke the third generation and fourth generation. But now they've been updated, so now they jailbreak with the second generation. So we're all in luck now, and it works fantastic, you know. And so let's get on to it. I'll just quickly show you guys that I am on the 4.1 firmware. And... Just a quick heads up, I have already jailbroken my device, so here, let's go to about, and it says right down here, the version is 4.18B117, sorry guys, that's, my camera isn't the best, but it is 4.1 right there, alright, anyway, you're going to go back, and I'll quickly show you guys, I do have Cydia on here, it's right up here, Cydia. I have a mixed tube and I have the backgrounds and everything. So, and I, you guys can get multitasking and everything. Um, I have a video on how to get multitasking and everything, so make sure to, I'll have that in the description below. After you jailbreak, you can go ahead and get all these awesome features. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this website. I'll have it in the description below, down there. And it's going to be greenpoison.com. And this is a legitimate website, guys. This isn't one of those fake ones, I promise you. Because it, I got this information from the iPhone Heat website, and they are very reliable, and they always back up their sources with everything. So if you have any questions or anything, make sure to go to iPhoneHeat.com. They are amazing, and that's pretty much where I get all my jailbreaking info, and they're really awesome. So, so you're going to go ahead and uh, click whichever one you're on. Right now, Linux is kind of uh, not working for the second generation iPod, but um, both Mac and Windows uh, should be supported right now. So you can go ahead and click on any of those, and I've already clicked on it. It really takes only like two seconds to download, and you're going to open up your little window right here. Just click on Green Poison, and hit Run. Here we'll minimize these other windows real quick. All right. So it says, Green Poison, please power off your device and connect it to begin. So we're going to go ahead and shut off the device. It is plugged in, by the way. Make sure it's plugged in and then shut it off. All right. There we go. And we'll set that to the side. Now, it says prepare to jailbreak DFU. So once you click on that, you're going to have to put your iPod in DFU mode. So make sure to be prepared to hit both this button and this button. It'll have the instructions on the screen. So you're just going to go ahead and follow them. Here, bear with me. I'm doing this one hand. So here we go. You're going to go ahead and click on it. Get ready to start. Three, two, one. Press and hold the sleep button for two, one. Now keep holding the sleep button and hold the home button for seven, six, five, three. Now release the sleep button and continue holding the home button. All right, and then once it stops, you can just let go. And it, down here it says jailbreak. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Jailbreaking right here and here. And it's going to bring up a progress bar, and it's going to take your screen white and everything. Connect to iTunes. It's going to have a bunch of code stuff fly by. And then it says jailbreak complete right down here. 
so everything else should be just finishing up on the iPod device itself. So we can just wait for that. It's just going to keep bringing up some code and everything. It says checking catalog hierarchy. Just says all this checking multi linked files and all these different things. But it's just going to continue with the jailbreak. Oh, sweet. Okay, my iPod should be is starting up. Now if you have any problems with your device uh, jailbreaking, I would suggest uh, shutting off and rebooting your device and also syncing with iTunes beforehand. And if possible, make sure to download Green Poison a second time or uh, updating your firmware, making sure it's updated because just these simple problems were the main things that were causing troubles for people. So. Make sure to check the, and see if you got all that covered. And we still do have Cydia right up there, and you can go ahead and click on it, and it works and everything. And there's Cydia for you guys, and um, hopefully this helped you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And there's also another jailbreak. If this absolutely does not work for you, you can check out Red Snow. Red Snow now works for the Apple Touch second generation on Windows. So I'll have that in the link in the description below. So if you have any problems, you can check that out. If you have any problems, like I said, make sure to go ahead and reboot your device and make sure your device is updated and everything and it's synced with iTunes because those simple little things can fix all your main problems and so thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later